What up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with the Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 finale. Uttering those words sounds very weird to me. Before we get to anything, I do want to let you guys know uh, if you are not aware, with the first and last episode of every season on the channel, the Patreon version, which is normally the full length version, which is normally a Patreon exclusive, is available for free for everyone. So click that link in the, down in the description. And if you enjoy that, consider checking out that Patreon for the full length and early access to the rest of the shows I'm watching. Before we get into this episode, I do have a couple of Q&A section questions in the Q&A section on the Discord. If you guys don't know, you can ask me any question you like there, and I'll try to answer it before the next episode comes out. First question comes from Echo. He says, pure hypothetical, pick one of these characters and craft their domain expansion. Nobara, Ghetto, or Nanami, or the easy choice in Umaki. Great question, because domain expansions intrigue me so, so very much. I don't know how, I'm trying to visualize how a Nanami one would work with his ratio ability, because that would be the curse technique that's immediately applied. I think visually the easiest one to actually imagine would probably be like Nobara's. Theoretically, I don't know how it would look, but I would love like one big doll voodoo that represents the person and then maybe like an Iron Maiden or something and just like a, a fling of flurry of nails comes out. That would be like, they could make that work visually. I can already picture it in my head. They could totally make that work. I would have to go Nobara's. It would be, ooh, like infinite nails or something, infinite something, in resonance. Like that would be insane. Shout out my girl. Next question comes from Sir Maxim. He asks, are you going to read the JJK manga and do reactions after the Shibuya is finished or will you wait for the anime return? And how does Choso compare to the Disaster Curses power-wise, in your opinion? It's a good question. I haven't decided on if I'm going to read the manga yet or not. I've had such a divisive split. People saying, read the manga, stream the manga. I could do that. People saying, no, wait for the reactions because these are peak, which I also agree with that. So I haven't yet come to a conclusion or decided. But we shall see. We shall soon see. And how does Choso compare to the Disaster Curses? I think Choso can beat Hanami, but Hanami and Jogo both have a domain expansion that could give him the one up on Choso, because I don't think Choso has one, especially with how still new he is to fighting. I think max peak, like in terms of potential, Choso could easily top Jogo and Hanami. I still think Mahito probably wins that fight just because of how broken Mahito is as a character. And a Dagon, I would say Choso can win again. So I would have to, I would say, Give time, Choso can beat Jogo and Hanami, but right now I still think they win just because of the domain expansion. Great question though. Next question comes from a name that is full of kanji that I won't even try to pronounce because I will butcher every little thing. They say, uh, hi, I am new here and really like your, oh, thank you to reaction to JJK. I want to know what's your opinion of the question which Suga Yuki asked Ghetto in the hidden inventory arc. Making a world without curses, do you agree with one, killing all monkeys or two, erasing cursed energy? She, was she talking about erasing cursed energy? It was more like having the average person be able to control their cursed energy, hence limiting the amount of negative wild cursed energy that flows out, creating these curses, if I'm incorrect on that. But I would say theoretically, which one's easier would be Ghetto's, especially because when he had that conversation with Gojo, he was saying, you can do it, so don't tell me I can't do it. I think theoretically that would be easier to do. But I think obviously the more ethical and moral choice would absolutely be having the people be able to control their cursed energy. It's just, that's so hard, you know? Um, which one do I agree with more? Probably Yuki's just because I want to be a good person. But which one would I do in a situation if I was ghetto? I might be a ghetto, I wouldn't lie, you know? All right, the last question of this Q&A comes from Simlength. Shout out to you, always asking the fire questions. Last JJK question for the last episode of season two, sad face, I'm right there with you. What do you think the higher ups of Jujutsu High is going to do now? As we know, they don't really like Gojo and it and Yuji, and now Gojo is sealed, and we have a huge hole in the middle of Japan. I think Kusakabe foreshadowing that this is going to go down is confirming that this is going to go down, whereas the higher ups were already making back end plots during season one multiple times to kill Yuji. I think this is going to give them the evidence they need to finally put the the nail in the coffin. And Gojo is our only reason Yuji's not executed right now. Oh, this, that's a hard question. I think the higher ups are going to definitely go for it. I don't think they're going to go for an outright like assassination like they have in the past. I think it's going to be more of like a, a trial or a tribunal deciding his fate. And I think with all the, 
that's what makes me butthurt about certain things because there are sorcerers that could be on our side that could testify and you know say yuji's a great benefit to the source to the sorcerer world but that'd be like nanami maki you know like i don't even know if inu maki's cool because we he was in uh sakuna's domain area like i don't know about any of these characters lives but if they're alive i'm hoping they can at least testify on yuji's behalf but i do think the higher ups are going to not like this and they're going to try to kill him and i don't like it i don't like it we actually have one more question here i missed it during the stream i apologize that's why my outfit has changed and i have this is post episode so merc asks thank you for always asking questions merc he asked who would you say are your favorite characters and who are your least favorite and choose one to step on you um it's a, it hits a little bit different now but my favorite two characters i haven't decided a third because i'm still gauging on a lot of their development and you know where they fit for me but number one was nanami number two was yuta or is yuta it's like and my least favorite characters i would say definitely mahito good riddance so i had to think about it for a second so i'm gonna say mahito good riddance and i'm gonna say mei mei because of everything with her brother but also because of the comparison between her and nanami how nanami wanted to go to malaysia but stayed to help his people fight and continue to live whereas she dipped and we only we know she only cares about money but she dipped out so fast when there are lives on the line and people that need to be protected so it has to be on the bad people side mahito on a good people side has to be mei mei even though i mean she is a baddie but that's not enough for me we have multiple baddies shout out yuki all right so that was it for the q a section like i said please check out that patreon if you guys want the full length or early access to the shows check out the social medias instagram twitch TikTok, twitter all at dapper darius i'm trying to get my twitter to 2,000 followers so if you guys could go to the twitter and follow that i appreciate you immensely i'm not gonna waste any more time let's hop right to today's episode the finale all right here we go starting off with a hole in japan I literally cannot contain my excitement right now with where we left off. I've wanted to see Yuki fight as soon as I found out she was Toto's teacher, senpai, and taught him everything he knows about women. He's like, I'm just here fighting. Yeah, she knows. Just visually, I love this eyes. That's good to know. I did not know that. Valid point. I want to see Tengen so much more. I respect it. I would love to know what your motivation is, what you do want. Oh. I don't, but I would love to. Oh. Soul Transfiguration? Idol Transfiguration? Yeah. And we know he used it in Uzumaki. Or him. R.I.P. Mahito. Fuck no. Never mind. Wait. What? what kind of scale Idol, Trigger Idol Transfiguration is this? yeah it was all part of fate ghetto's plan <sighs> he was manipulating what does he mean by that on two types of non-sorcerers i marked beforehand is this not megumi's sister still comatose why are we cutting here is that not the same symbol because it was like a mysterious curse that affected him or affect itadori 
その呪物たちの封印を解いた。先りになった者もいたが、じきに目を覚ますだろう。This is gonna be insane. I'm loving the shot right now. I'm loving the shot right now. This seems like such an in depth plan. I would love to, Missy. Oh, I love the way they animated that. My ally. Shout out Mai. Shout out Toto. Still got camo and panda. Bro, I cannot wait to go rewatch what Ghetto was all talking. I need to go in depth with that. Yes. Go. I need to know everything about what you're planning. Is this, this man's going in death. Okay. 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 Whoever is hitting this piano and this music is doing a phenomenal job. Usakabe, buddy, are you okay? He's just accepting fate. This is like JJK Zero all over again, but times 100. There's the boy himself. He just dipping? No. It's starting once again. The golden age of Jutsu. They've been mentioning that since the very beginning. The Heian era. Oh my god. What was that? Those are some cute cats. I won't lie. What sort of transition is this? What is going on? We're getting the average perspective from political people, the common people, businesses. Are we seeing the outside reaction perspective of what's going on just because of how crazy this shit's gonna be and now that the golden age of sorcery is back? With a power vacuum of this scale. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if, like Yuki said, there's going to be some outside nationalities and other forces involving themselves in this. This is becoming bigger than Japan, low-key. Okay, I mean... It's not a bad idea. I love how many different perspectives we're getting on this. Oh, camera guy. You are so dead. Oh, yep. Yep. This is... Oh, this is fucked. This whole situation. Nah, season three of this show is going to be absolute insanity. Why are they snapping with a POV shot in the fucking ramen aisle? Who's munching? That food's not going anywhere, girl. Slow down a little bit. You're twaxing. Bro, I don't trust JJK with scenarios like this. This is way too eerie. Oh, hell nah. Oh, hell nah. He's on some poltergeist fucking horror movie shit. 
Yeah, she it needs a little more than a drink. Well, fuck, what the fuck? It's curving around the little girl. I feel so bad for you, bro. They snap with certain camera angles and PO like into the O. It's literally like one of those fishes with a little thing that just baits. Fucker. Oh no. Please, please, oh my, oh, oh my god. The goat is back, oh my god, you are an absolute legend. He's such the goat. He's so compassionate, so empathetic. I love this man, bro. I'm geeked right now. And he's not even... Do we still have Rika? I thought Rika was gone. I do love how Yuki technically is like a third party. She's not on anyone's side. She just wants her own goals to this, you know? What sort of confrontation does that mean? I wanted to see her Shikigami so bad. Are these the higher ups? I love the way they're visualized behind these like doors. That's a good point. Yeah, they're just hiding their identities. God. That's the last thing I wanted to hear. The reinstatement of his death sentence. Ghetto has survived, so that's one of the things noted. Oh, I'm... Gojo has been deemed an accomplice in the Shibuya. What? What the? Oh, no. Masa. Principal? Is it going to be us versus Jujutsu? Is it? Nah. -ha. If we got to go us versus the Jujutsu world, bro, I'm team Gojo and Yuji all day. But you. But now you. Oh, my God. I don't know what to decide. This is the hardest thing I've ever had to talk about JJK bringing a literal roller coaster of emotions. I go from literally this to this within a minute, 60 seconds. Gay gay, when I catch you, gay gay. I love how cinematic certain aspects of JJK are. They're not afraid to let a scene and a shot, especially one like this, breathe. What are you doing, Yuji? Not gonna lie, that scar is kind of badass. Both of them. Yeah, I swear to God, if the episode ends. That finale. I've said this multiple episodes of the season. That finale was a roller coaster of emotions. From me seeing Yuki, to me getting some answers about Ghetto and everything like that, to Megumi's sister. Like, I love how they're not afraid to leave the season on a cliffhanger. Not only that, there are other seasons that have been on cliffhangers and stuff like that. But literally, I feel like almost every storyline is not resolved and left hanging but in a good way, if that makes sense. Like, it's crazy. I still don't know. I mean, I think Nalbito's dead, but I still don't know about Maki. I, I mean, there's so many things that I want to know about. I'm just so crazily crazed that how much we're going against the Jujutsu world now. Like, Principal 
Masamichi sentenced to death. Ghetto, re uh, that's fine. I mean, Ghetto, he can die. I mean, we know it's fucking fake Ghetto. Gojo has been expelled from Jujutsu High, and any attempt to free him is going to be is illegal now. And like, I get like Yuji's back on the executioner's block, and Yuta's going to be the one to do it. Literally, my excitement for Yuta is still there because I love him so much, and I have high hopes that we're going to be able to talk no jutsu him. Maybe after he talks to Panda, Maki, other people, but he's like him getting the news about Yuji being a, somewhat involved in the Shibuya incident and directly cutting off his one of his favorite people in the world in Umaki's arm like oh he's still so nice and as empathetic as ever though when he saved that little girl I was so worried her ass was so about to be dead so I want to know way more about Ghetto's motivations the thing he did in season one I cannot wait to rewatch season one I want to know more about Yuki's motivations and stuff like that I know we've gotten bits and pieces she wants to rid the world of, of curses and cursed energy or something along those lines i love how she's more of a third party she's not allied necessarily with jujutsu high or ghetto or anyone she's just her own thing her own goals and she feels like she has the power enough to enact them and i respect that i want to she mentioned larue and still last episode momo was talking about utahime was doing some plans in the background this i still don't know what was going on with uraume in ghetto when he said sukuna you hear like there's so many story threads left hanging that it's such a good thing business and marketing wise that season three when it comes out i do know a bit, the next big arc is called the cooling games i do like when that does drop the anticipation especially from anime onlys is going to be like on attack on titan level like it, it, crunchyroll funimation everything's going to crash when it comes out this whole season except for some of the haters out there has blown everyone's expectations out of the water and i've been told oh my god like it is insane and i absolutely love this finale because it feels like the world we are in and the world we've been a part of for two seasons now which is a good solid 50 episodes has been irreparably changed everything everything will be different from here on out whether it's us versus jutsu whether it's the announcement of source spirits whether it's the outside entities and nations involving themselves in these Jap japanese affairs the world of jujutsu sorcery is not going it's, we're going to look back on season one and think those were the summer the golden days you know like oh people are dying but it's happy like season two is gonna be you know it's like uh, this is gonna be just no season three make sure to tune in i'll be there hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction if you did please leave a like let me know your thought i have heard there's a teaser for season three already out so i am going to watch it and make that its own separate little post but if you guys enjoyed like i said leave a like let me know your thoughts down below it has been an honor. It has been a pleasure watching the season with you guys. The amount of ups we've had, the amount of downs we've had. You guys have been there with me through it all. And I must sincerely thank you enough. I can't thank you enough for the support, the likes, the comments. You guys are so nice and supportive. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Make sure you tell someone you love them. Drink some water. Peace out.